Cedar Grove stood out as the number two seed in the playoffs. It was the first time ever that they would play Crestkill in both of the school's histories. Everything we do is for this reason. All right, think about the work you put in during the winter, in the weight room, the spring, your individual training, your trainers. All right, the 830s of all summer long, the 7-on-7s, seven the conditioning. All right, that's why we do it. This is why we do it, Cedar Grove football. All right, to start tonight, to play for a state championship. Everything you put yourself through, all right, I put it, the ups, the downs, the pain, the injuries, battling through things, all right, is to win a state championship. All right, that starts tonight. All right, nothing better, all right? All right? Earlier that week, Cedar Grove's prayer was answered. Alfonso Lombardi was back in the playing field sooner than expected and was once again named the starting quarterback after quickly recovering from his illness just a couple weeks before. Creskill had a few tricks up their sleeve and caught the Panthers off guard, which was part of their game plan against Cedar Grove. But the defense wouldn't be fooled so easily. Junior running back Mike Willis made a pick in the red zone to stop the drive. went on without Coletta, who suffered a severe ankle sprain the week before, putting Mike Willis as the starter. Willis delivered the opening score, and coach Gogarty gave Chris Kill a taste of their own medicine. McCarthy scored two touchdowns of his own. The first one, a punishing penetration down the sideline. Lombardi's triumphant return came very strong and set the tone for the game. He completed two touchdowns to his favorite target, Michael Marinelli, and flawlessly finished the game without an interception. As soon as the second half began, Marinelli wasted no time and took off for his third touchdown of the night. Both Marinelli and Willis tallied the closing points of the quarterfinal. But it wasn't just the Stars who stood out for the Panthers. During the first half, sophomore receiver Nicholas Droge and junior tight end James Canarelli each scored two points of their own on the PATs. Iana Cohn completed the second one. Junior running back Dante Martinez also registered a pick of his own. It was certainly a rough few weeks, but Lombardi finally got back what he was best at doing. Now, it's his turn to lead Cedar Grove on the road to the state championship.
Cedar Grove finally had their first shutout of the season, just when it mattered most in the playoffs.